They go a little overboard here, don't they? This guy was kind of spooking me out, actually. I think Cabby Cabby might like him, but I mean, he probably would uh, look it down his nose at something that you can't build from all these worms of uh, balloons. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> they do have fun here. They have a church service here, like three times. I think they have it on what? Uh, but Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, Saturdays, I think. So basically, all these people that lost their houses and got a, like, you know, three to five kids in a one-bedroom apartment have moved in and made this place suck ass. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, and they're not nice to you if you're not one of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I'm a bad person after all. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I found a gold book. <laughs> Look at that. I kind of did a little bit more work on it. I believe we're up to chapter 12, aren't we? Of First Nephi. Well, let's get started. Oh, I needed to wet the whistle anyway. And it came to pass that the angel said unto me, Look, made you look, <laughs> and behold thy seed. Yeah and also the seed of thy brethren. And I looked, and beheld the land of promise, which is, well, I guess east of here, really. <laughs> and I beheld multitudes of people, yea, even as if it were in number as many as the sand of the sea. That's a lot of people. Or it's one heck of an exaggeration. Ooh. Mm, this is nice. And it came to pass that I beheld multitudes gathered together to battle, one against the other, and behold, wait, and I beheld wars. And rumors of wars. Where have you heard that before? Ah, and great slaughters with the sword among my people. Wow. That was just a whole bunch of useless verbiage. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I had to make all these blank plates. That they could use. <laughs> that's why they're the plates of Nephi. Because he's leaving all these blank pages for all the wars that haven't happened yet because he's being shown them right now. See, it all makes sense, you know, if you don't think about it. All right. And it came to pass that I beheld many generations pass away after the manner of wars and contentions in the land, and I beheld many cities, yea, even that I did not number them. And it came to pass that I saw a mist of darkness, that mist of darkness is back, on the face of the land of promise, probably smog. And I saw lightnings, and I heard thunderings and earthquakes and all manner of tumultuous noises. <sighs> he beheld noises. And I saw the earth and the rocks that they rent. You know, I'm a renter. <laughs> this is the rec room in my apartment complex. <laughs> they rent. 
and I saw mountains tumbling into pieces, and I saw the plains of the earth, that they were broken up, and I saw many cities that were sank, and I saw many that were burnt with fire, <coughs> and I saw many that did tumble to the earth because of quaking thereof. Yeah, I, I've already read this book a couple of times. Uh, see, this is really a prophecy because uh, he knew in advance that all this shit would happen in 3rd Nephi. And that's because he's a prophet. And funny, this book sounds like the same author wrote that. Matter of fact, every single book in here sounds like the same literary voice. I'm just saying. What a hell of a prophecy there. Quaking thereof. <laughs> And it came to pass, after I saw these things, I saw the vapor of darkness, that it passed from off the face of the earth. So why'd you mention it? <laughs> it just showed up and left. Just kidding. All right. And behold, I saw multitudes who had fallen because of the great and terrible judgments of the Lord. Hey, they got the Lord capitalized this time. They must be talking about Jesus. They only seem to want to capitalize him. And I saw the heavens open, and the Lamb of God descending out of heaven. Because after all those earthquakes in 3rd Nephi, J.C. shows up. You know, just a rap, you know. Check out the, how everybody's doing. You know, kind of like one of those regional managers, you know. You know, he had to sanctify this whole bunch of people before they wipe each other out and leave only a bunch of Indians behind that have no Semitic DNA. More Asiatic, I believe. All right, anyway. Yeah, the Lamb of God was sitting out of heaven, and he came down and showed himself unto them in the land of promise. Or we like to call it the promised land. And I also saw and bear record that the Holy Ghost fell upon twelve others. Now what's the fucking point of that? The twelve were to, try, were to judge each tribe of Israel, the twelve apostles. You know, one for each tribe, just like the priests. Because J.C. was supposed to become king of Israel, king of the Jews, get it? But no, they don't get it. No, no, he's God! <laughs> and these twelve, well, He's got 12 because the other Israel, you know, had 12. <laughs> and it's a magic number. And we know Joseph Smith likes magical things. He was into magic before he became a prophet, I understand. Oh, anyway, yeah, there are 12 others because the Holy Spirit descended on them. And they were ordained of God and chosen. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold the twelve disciples of the Lamb. You know, I could go for some mutton right about now. <laughs> Who are chosen to minister unto thy seed? And he said unto me, Thou rememberest the twelve apostles of the Lamb? Yeah, you just, in the last, uh, <sighs> you know, people forget shit real quick in this book. <sighs> Behold, they are they who shall judge the twelve tribes of Israel. See? Now what's... Wherefore, the twelve ministers of thy seed shall be judged of them. For ye are the house of Israel. So you would only need one. <laughs> one tribe. One tribe came over. Yeah, they got all split up. That's how evolution works. <laughs> uh, we'll get into that pretty soon. And these twelve ministers, uh, whom thou beholdest, shall judge thy seed, and behold, they are righteous forever. So you got twelve of them to judge one tribe. Nice. 
Uh, I guess technically, you know, the, each brother had a tribe. I guess, you know. And it takes a village to raise a child. Okay, I get it. All right, judge I see. And behold, they are righteous forever. So, <coughs> phew, once you're in, you're always in. Sounds kind of Calvinistic. Hmm. Yeah. For because of their faith in the Lamb of God, their garments are made white with his blood. Man, I think he had a serious red blood, <laughs> blood cell uh, problem. <laughs> and the angel said unto me, Look, and I looked, <laughs> and beheld three generations pass away in righteousness. And their garments were white, even like unto the Lamb of God. And the angel said unto me, These are made white in the blood of the Lamb because of their faith in Him. See, gullibility, and just, you know, believe it, you know, because you're lucky enough to be born into the right family, who's in, it's, it really is preordained then. So, Forget all this bullshit you've been talking about. Uh, free will, Christians. Uh, it says right here. <laughs> and I, Nephi. See, Nephi is having this vision. Is he's talking, and he wants you to know in case you thought somebody else had taken over the narrative. Uh, I, Nephi, also saw many of the fourth generation who passed away in righteousness. I. Probably had these on cue cards, you know, and put them here, and then, all right, now this one goes next. And <laughs> I read McKee too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just joking. <sighs> and it came to pass that I saw the multitudes of the earth gather together. And the angel said unto me, Behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brother. Yeah. Shit, are we repeating ourselves? Yeah, we're not. We're repeating ourselves. And it came to pass that I saw the multitudes of the earth gather together. And the angel said unto me, Behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brother. Which said right up there too. <sighs> He needed it, it. It came to pass just so he can ask a question. Should have got a couple extra phrases, you know, they don't cost anything. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the people of my seed gathered together in multitudes against the seed of my brethren, and they were gathered together in battle. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold, the fountain of filthy water. This must be a different fountain. Because remember the other fountain was the fountain of life, but is that the one they were drowning in then? I mean, this is just so well written, you know. I mean, how could you get confused? <sighs> because it, it's got to be vague if it's going to sound like a proper holy book. Ah, the filthy water which thy father saw, yea, even the river in which he spake, and the depths thereof are the depths of hell. Ah, interesting. And the mists of darkness are the temptations of the devil, <laughs> which blindeth the eyes and hardeneth the hearts <coughs> of the children of men, and leadeth them away into broad roads. Hey, I like broads. <laughs> that they perish and are lost. And the large and spacious building which my, thy father saw is vain imaginations, and the pride of the children of men, and a great and terrible gulf divided ye, divided them, yea, even the word of justice of the eternal God and the Messiah, who is the Lamb of God, of whom the Holy Ghost beareth record from the beginning of the world until this time, and from this time henceforth and forever. And while the angel spake, <laughs> You could cook a three-minute egg, definitely. <laughs> These words, I beheld and saw that the seed of my brethren did contend against the seed, against my brethren did 
contend against my seed according to the word of the angel. <laughs> and because of the pride of my seed, and you got some sassy seed. <laughs> and the temptations of the devil. I behold that the seed of my brethren did overpower the, the people of my seed. Wow. Remind me never to bring him to a movie. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Pardon me, it's been a real long day. I just got off of work and pretty wiped out. And it came to pass that I beheld and saw the people of my seed and my brethren, uh, and the seed of my brethren, that had overcome my seed, and they went forth in multitudes upon the face of the land. And I saw them gathered together in multitudes, and I saw wars and w rumors of wars, uh, kind of having flashbacks here, man. I actually thought I lost my space, but no, it, shit. <laughs> I mean, this is like verse 22. <laughs> wars and rumors of wars. Boy, he loved that phrase. They just lifted anything out of the Bible he liked. And I think there's a little bit of Milton in here, too. And other things. Yeah. Wars and rumors of wars among them, and in wars and rumors of wars, I saw many generations pass away. <laughs> and the angel said unto me, Behold, <coughs> these shall dwindle in unbelief. It's preordained. These fucking guys aren't going to get it. So they're going to get it. <sighs> And it came to pass that I beheld, after they had dwindled in under, unbel, dwim, dwindled in unbelief, they became a dark and loathsome and filthy people. Isn't that nice? Full of idleness. Idleness. And he's not talking about worse, bow down to an idol. <laughs> no, no. He means lazy. Sound a little uh, more like it, the times uh, it was found in. <laughs> I don't. I got to read this again. <laughs> Listen close. This is First uh, Nephi chapter twelve, verse twenty-three. And it came to pass that I beheld, after they had dwindled in unbelief, they, they became a dark and loathsome. And filthy people, filthy, full of idleness and all manner of abominations. I'm glad I got an older version. Is that it? Wow, that's a nice ending. So I did finish chapter 12. Uh, God, I could almost go for another chapter, but uh, I think I'll save 13 for uh, the new year because. I understand it's the last year we're going to have a... Doesn't the world end on May 21st next of 11? And if that one doesn't get it, then we got, tw you know, 2012 to worry about. And whatever date they come up with next. So, uh, I'm glad I did this because I needed to unwind. Uh, as you can see, I gave it another coat. But I can't lose this precious map. I mean, look at that. I mean, <laughs> they got a they got another map. Look on the back. <laughs> ah, and a quote from Second Nephi. I don't know if you can get that. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Peace and uh, happy New Year.
It's glow in the dark Santa. I've got Santa syndrome. Help me, shock of God. Ha ha ha.